In this really short video, I'm going to be showing you how to start an IBM power supply with it being completely disconnected from the computer. Now these old computers sometimes have a way of acting up, especially if they have been sitting idle for a very long time, and this is the first time they're getting started. So being able to test a power supply is often a very good idea. So we start by disconnecting all of the peripherals from the power supply. For an IBM PC, this typically includes any disk drives, hard drives, but also the main board itself. So we don't want to have anything attached to the PSU. So with everything disconnected, when you flip the switch, you'll most likely see nothing happening at all. The fan won't spin, but everything will seem okay in the power supply itself. So you might be thinking, oh, it's going to be a capacitor or something else. But in fact, these IBM power supplies need a very specific load in order for them to start. So a single hard drive or a fan is simply not enough to kick off the power supply. So it needs a little bit more than that. Now in order to start an IBM power supply, it's not sufficient to have one hard drive, or not even two hard drives, no, not even three, but you'll be needing four hard drives to perform this test. So make sure you have enough split cables available to power everything as most IBM power supplies only come with two Molex connectors. Now I had read about this online that in order to kickstart an IBM power supply you need to have three or four IDE hard drives and I was a bit skeptical about that and a lot of people I talked to had the same feeling. You know, why wouldn't the power supply start? So I decided to take this to the test. So here I'm going to power the power supply with one hard drive as a load. And as you can see, nothing happens. So let's add a second hard drive. Again, nothing. A third, perhaps? Aha! We briefly hear the power supply spinning, but it shuts down. And again, the same thing. A fourth, perhaps? Aha! The power supply is starting and keeps running. It appears we have liftoff, and this is proof that you do in fact need to have four IDE hard drives in order to kickstart an IBM power supply. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.